Hello everybody, welcome back. So we're going to be going to our fourth box for this uncasing uh, series. And obviously we used up all our top loaders last time. I have to open up a brand new one here. And what I also did is I went back and I counted how many of the super and the special rares that we get. So there's so far in these three boxes, and I'm assuming this is going to be the ratio, there are eight. Two of the special rares and then six uh, super rares in each box. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's see if that ratio stays the same. Okay, let's moving on to the box down here. Now I'm going to be working on this angle. I know we don't get the whole case in this uh, video. You can't see everything. Uh, this one was the same case that we started off with. If you want to go back and check out the first, well, I guess three videos at this point. And we can take a look at the whole thing. Okay. Our box topper today is a special, I'm sorry, is a super rare SSN, SS Sun Gohan and Goten Battle Ready. I believe we actually got one of these in uh, one of these previous boxes, but we're going to keep that sealed. That's more of a collector's item for me personally. Since obviously not always are you going to get those in the uh, extra special packaging. Who knows, right? 10, 20 years down the road, those might become uh, more special. Two, four, five, six, six. So these are in quarters. Actually, we want to do eights. We want thirds. Okay. So the... Second half, we're going to go through those a little bit quicker. First half, let's go a little bit slower. And the reason is I like to be able to see and appreciate the art. I'm sure we've probably seen all of the commons. We've most likely seen all of the uncommons by this point. But, uh, you know, somebody took time. They took effort, took training, skill in order to put these together. We made the, the design, the color scheme, the layout. So we want to take a chance to appreciate all of that. Here we go, coming up to our foil. Oh, actually, so that was our foil. It was a common foo, which means we have three cards in this pack. What do we happen to get to start off? I love it. Hopefully we get the God Rare. How amazing would that be if the first pack out of the box is the God Rare? And it is not. It is a super rare. Still pretty happy about that. I think this one is a duplicate. I believe we actually got that in our last box over here. It is the super, it is, it's a super rare. SS Cumber. Okay, let's make sure we get him the royal treatment. Sleeve him up. Top loader. Okay, so that is one out of eight. Hopefully we can get more than eight, but I'm assuming that's going to be the ratio. And then we're also going to make sure we sleeve up our common and, co and uncommon foils. Even though every pack has one, I'm curious if we're going to be able to get a whole set. Well, I guess, no, we may not be able to get a whole set just looking at the numbers for all the foils with only one box. We might buy some more down the line, but we should get also uh, pretty close to having a full set of foil. And that would uh, be a nice collection as well. Okay, moving through this a little bit quicker here. We have our foil being an uncommon special beam cannon with beast mode Gohan and then our regular rare. Ooh. Already seeing that we skipped pulling out that rare in the last one. Let's see if we can find that really quick. Do do do. There it is. Okay. And I like to separate all of them because I realize what I'm going to do. Anybody who wants the commons or uncommons, hit me up. Let me know. Pay for the shipping. Um, you can have the uncommon and common cards for free. So if you wanted to try to have a whole set, you don't necessarily have to go buy them all. Um, obviously, just pay for shipping. So depending on how many you want, it could be anywhere from a dollar to six dollars. I mean, hey, if you want the whole box, it might be a little bit more, 10, 12 bucks. But uh, just let me know. Send me a comment and we'll take it from there. Okay, our foil is a common dormant super warrior Broly. And then just our regular red. Continuing on here. Ooh, look at that. 
I like the coloring of their purple and blue. Uh, I know in the last pack, there was a Vegeta that was this purple, dark purple and black. It just has beautiful looking artwork. Really nice design. That's something that, it may not be worth anything, but it's definitely something nice to look at. Our foil for this pack is a common Corin, and we've got another SS Broly. I know every time I'm talking about, you know, what kind of a deck might I want to be building, uh, <laughs> an additional challenge is where am I going to play, right? Uh, there's not really any local tournaments where I'm at. I'd have to travel a bit. I did call up the card shops around me. They're not doing the uh, Dragon Ball. They're only really doing Pokemon, right? So now I've got to find where could I play on top of obviously building a deck. But don't worry, we will get there. Just be patient with me a little bit on that. If you have any tips or advice, let me know. Uh, I don't like necessarily playing meta decks, right? The best deck you can get. I like having fun, trying out different combinations. It's not as important to me about winning. It's more about making sure I enjoyed playing. Our foil for this pack is a common Shenron. We do have three, so let's see what we get. And I'm trying to, there we go, separate the cards a little bit here. Okay, so we got a special rare, Gamma 1, Gamma 2. It's a pretty nice looking card. That's going to be the second one from this box. So if the ratios stay the same, we are already a quarter of the way through these super and our special rares. <laughs> Make sure we sleeve up the commons. Okay, and we're almost through with the third, first third. Um, so actually that was, that pack and then this pack would make it one quarter. So if we've pulled out one of one quarter of these uh, more rare cards out of one quarter of the pack, of the box, then the ratios are also sticking pretty close to that. Okay, only got two in this one. Our foil is a Gamma 1, and then we have our Viku Regular Rare. Now, I don't know if you guys can really pick up on the sound. I'm going to demonstrate something with this next pack here. Because at the same time, if we do happen to get that God Rare or a card that's just really nice looking, might send that one in for grading, and why not get the best grade possible? So these are common cards. I'll demonstrate with this. Instead of just sliding this up and down, and, and maybe you can hear it, right? Maybe we're scratching up the surface on the back of that. I'm trying to catch the corner, move a little bit forward, and then also pulling it out. And that way, we're not scratching or damaging that surface behind if we do happen to pull out one of those more valuable cards, we can make sure that it stays in pristine condition, okay? Our foil is a rare cumber. Now, one other thing I noticed in the first three packs, actually, we've gotten a foil rare, and then the same uh, rare non-foil in the same pack. Let's see if they happen to do that. So far, it's been one in every box, and I'm curious if, oh, okay, no, it's not. I was trying to take a peek a little bit here. So we had the black cards, and there was the sixes, they were lining up and there was a plus 5,000. So I was thinking this might've been that pack. Pretty nice looking SSB Vegito, however, for our regular rare. Okay. And last pack for this first third. Then we'll go through these a little bit quicker. Be able to see what were the special cards that we uh, pull. Also, let me know guys if the angle is good. If you want me to perhaps bring this a little bit closer and focus more on these cards instead of seeing everything that's happening around. Uh, or if there's also maybe too much glint and glare on the cards, you're not really able to make them out. Okay, our foil is a common Dracula man. We do have three in this pack. So right now we're going to be above the ratio. And we happen to get a super rare SS3 Broly. Now, what I might do in the next box to help make it a little bit easier is actually break it down into quarters. We might be able to get through that first quarter a little bit faster so we can shorten these videos, but then also it'll make it easier to keep track of the ratio, right? So far, we've gotten three, and we've just passed 
one third. So if we pull that ratio out, we might have nine instead of eight from this box. Now I don't expect that to be the case, but you know, manufacturer packaging errors happen all the time. I did hear how one person had gotten all three secret rares and God rare from the same box. Now I don't know if that's actually the case. It might be, but um, you know, I like to show you guys all of that as well. Our foil is a rare sealed super warrior. Okay, and our regular rare goes over on the side. Now, if you didn't see the trick in the last video, and I'm accentuating it, the foils tend to bend a little bit more than the non-foil cards, so it makes it pretty easy to just open it right up to the back of the pack. So now we have three cards in this, so we know we got something special. We got Foo for our foil. And what did we get as our extra card? A super rare SS Broly, so another one. Now this, I... <laughs> I know, it sounds like a broken record sometimes, but this red and green Broly artwork and design, the color scheme, it's there's something about it. It just hits right for me. Right now, I think this is gonna be our nicest looking card. We'll put him right up in the front. And let's move on. So if you see here, maybe uh, it's a little bit harder to see. There's only two that are kind of sticking up. So our foil is an SS Vegeta, it is a rare. And then a regular is the SS Sun Gohan. There we go. Gotta be a little bit careful here. My biggest fear is, because I'm using the scissors, going too fast and then nicking the God card, right? Imagine we happen to pull out that Gogeta God rare but I nicked the corner, oh, that would make me uh, so upset. Foil for this is an uncommon family Kamehameha. It's a pretty nice artwork. Look at how you've got Gohan in his um, early 20s. Goku's probably gonna be close to his 30s. And you got Goten as a young kid, probably say around seven, eight years old in that picture, in that art. Obviously, I'm making up the, name, the, the ages. I don't know the lore to that depth to know how old each of them are in relation to each other. Okay, we do have three cards in this pack. So far, we are about average on the ratio. So our foil is a common Vegeta. Regular rare. And our extra card is a super rare Janembra. Now, I think we actually pulled the special rare version of this card in the last box. Uh, if you want to see that, obviously go check out that video. That would be box number three. Okay, so far we have four, and we're about halfway through. Actually, let's see, one, two, three, eight. We're just past the halfway mark, so slightly behind the ratio. But with enough data, <laughs> you can find that pattern, that ratio. Okay, we do have three cards in this, so it's going to put us ahead of the ratio, but let's see what we happen to get. Our foil is a common piccolo. And our extra card is, ooh, Sun Gohan, Beast Roar. Now, this is not the uh, secret rare Beast Gohan, but this is a nice card, a nice artwork. I love this purple, the gray of his hair, the gold of the foiling. It all just works well together, pops. Uh, sorry, Broly, but Gohan is going to have to beat you out in design. He was also one of my favorite characters growing up. Uh, if I remember correctly... He was, instead of going to Super Saiyan 3, back in, what, Cell Saga, he went to Mystic Saiyan. I, I could be uh, misremembering that, but um, that was a pivotal, pivotal time in my life. Foil is a rare. So let's see, is this the pack that's going to have the non-foil rare in the same pack? No, it is not. Okay, so far we're looking out for that. We've gotten it in the first three boxes. Let's see if that happens once per box. Oh, what am I doing? This is just a regular rare. I'm getting distracted here a little bit. Uh, so far, that's happened once per box. Let's see if it continues doing so, or if we just happen to get super lucky in those first three boxes. Okay, 
Moving right along. Only two cards in this, so our foil is an uncommon foo and regular rare uh, Baba. Last third. Have we gotten our super rare, our, yeah, super rares in this box yet? We did get, so the Gamma 1 and 2 is one of them. So we are still looking for that second uh, special rare, rather, sorry. Our foil is Janumba, Janembra. Sometimes mispronounce that one. Uh, so what I was saying is we are looking for our second special rare for this pack. And it would be nice if we make that a secret rare. Okay. Only two in this back, in the back of this pack. We have an uncommon Dr. Hito. I believe six packs left. We're running out of them. Let's see. These last few packs should be pretty exciting, though. Okay. Our foil is a common Upa, and only two in this pack. Now, when I say two, I'm sure you guys probably figure out, you know, two in the end of that pack. Okay, so we have five packs left, and so far we've pulled one, two, three, four, five, six. So out of these five packs, two of them should have that third card in the back, that uh, super special secret or potentially god rare. Let's see what happens. We have, okay, here's one of them. This has three cards in the back. Our foil is SS Sun Gohan. And the extra card is, oh, ah, tricking me, but it's damn nice. Okay, so we got the special rare version, Sun Gohan Beast Roar. And let me bring this a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see the difference in the artwork. The special rares obviously have a little bit more of a pop flair the foiling the gold lettering the numbers down here on the bottom it just pops a little bit more love it it looks beautiful it feels great uh, you can feel it obviously through the gloves so it has that three-dimensional type of feel to it hmm now i'm going to put this one in the front i think i like this artwork a little bit more with him flexing his muscles but because this one is that special rare He's going to be our front runner. Okay, we have four packs left, and one potentially two extra cards here in the back. Now, it's not actually an extra card, but instead of having two in the back, you know, two behind that foil, we have the third one. Our foil here is Cell Max, which is just an uncommon card. Three packs left. Let's see if we beat the ratio. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, not yet. We do have two packs left, so there is a chance. Our foil is a rare Biku. So let's see, is this going to be the pack that has the same non-foil rare? No, it is not. Okay, so far, that hasn't happened in this box. So let's see, potentially... One of these would have the foil and non-foil rare. Obviously, I'm pointing, it just doesn't matter. And one of these is going to have one more, probably super rare, maybe even better than that. Let's take a look. Okay, this one has only two, so nothing extra in this. Our foil is an uncommon, gigantic meteor of destruction. Okay, so it comes down to the last pack. Do we match the ratio? At, uh, eight super and secret rares. Uh, sorry, super and special rares. Or do we fall short? Do we not match that ratio? Okay, so it looks like, and we did. Okay, we have three cards here. Our foil is a common paragus. I think we've actually gotten that a couple of times. Oh, oh. And the extra card is a super rare. Son Goku duel with an assassin. Okay, let's sleeve this up really quick. Oh, did we actually miscount? Okay, let's take a look. 
I have an extra top loader over here. So maybe I miscounted, they might have been stuck together. Okay, quick recap. So we have our special rare, Sun Gohan, our super rare, Sun Gohan, SS Brawly, super rare, SS Cumber, super rare, our special rare, Gamma 1, Gamma 2, SS3 Brawly, Janembra, and Sun Goku. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we did get the same ratio, two special rares, and six super rares. All right, well, thank you guys. Oh, while I do our outro, thank you guys. I will see you for the next one.